A tank contains 90 cubic feet of air at a pressure of 350 PSIG, which is equal to 364.7 PSIA, which we will further convert to pounds per square foot by multiplying it by 12 squared, 52,516. Okay, if the air is cooled until its pressure and temperature decreases at 200 PSIG, that sounds like our P2. That's 214.7 absolute. And of course, we're also, con we're also going to convert this into pounds per square foot. 30,916 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit respectively that's our T2 which is 530 uh, degrees Rankine respectively what is the decrease in internal energy in BTU. So we're looking for a decrease here, which means our answer would most likely be a negative, which narrows it down to either B or D. You can guess, but we are not here to guess. We're here to find the right answer. So it looks like there is no mention of the volume changing. So we can assume that this is a constant volume process. And if it's a constant volume process, we can find the internal energy by multiplying the mass of our air by the specific heat at constant volume. And of course, our temperature difference. We know that CV is 0 0.171 BTU over pound degrees Rankine. This is for air. And of course, we're given T2. So we need to find our mass and our initial temperature first. To find the mass, we're going to use the ideal gas law on the final state um, of this uh, system. So. P2V2 is equal to M times the gas constant of air times T2. We have our P2 right here. V2 is the same as V1. Looking for mass, we know R is 53.35 uh, foot pound per uh, pound mass decrease Rankine. And of course, T2 is given to, given to us. Now we can simply start putting our values in. We are going to use pounds per square foot here because we're using feet on the rest of the equation. So P2 is 30,118, either 16.8. P2 is 90. M is our mass. 53.35 for a gas constant and of course our absolute final temperature now we can find the mass okay so we get the mass of our air of 98.5 41 pounds. Let's make this a bit smaller. Okay, so now how do we find T2? Well, since again this is a constant volume process, the Gale, um, how do you say this? 
Gay-Lussac's law is going to apply, which is simply P1 over T1 is equal to P2 over T2. And we have everything here. P1 is right here. P2 is right here. And of course, T2 is right here. So we can get our T1. So let's put that in our calculator real quick. P1. We're going to use um, PSIA here, but if you want to use pounds per square foot, it's still going to give you the same answer. I'm just using this so that I can type it in faster. P2 is 214.7. And of course, T2 is 530. T2 is 900. What is this? Rankine. Degrees Rankine, rather. Okay, so we have everything now. T1, um, oops. Mistake there. This is T1, sorry. We have T1, we have our mass. Now we can simply start putting our values in our initial equation. 41, CV is 0 0.171 times, let's put it down here. Okay, this is 530 minus 900. Don't mix these two up or else you're gonna get a different answer. Let's see, 0 0.171 times 530 minus 90, or rather 900. And there it is, negative 6,226 BTU. That is our final answer, and the closest one in the choices would be letter D. Okay, I hope this helped you. Consider supporting me on Patreon, like and subscribe, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.